good morning good morning good morning i think it is still mm, it's almost 12 o'clock so it's almost no longer morning but i'm home from work um and i'm having a great day for some reason today i just feel really like pepped up and like thankful and what's the word when you're like looking forward to things and i'm just feeling good today as you can see me and Nippy came home. Well, Nippy wasn't at work with me, but we came home and we made a a little brunch for ourselves, didn't we, Nippy? You wanna say hello to people? Did you see her in the last shot? She just walks into all my shots now. <laughs> it's not that she's like doing it on purpose, because as I said in my last video, she's blind, so she doesn't know, but it's a bit cooler today, so I did light the fire and I've got my pot of tea and some biscuits and chocolate and I'm going to start Percy Jackson and the Battle of the Labyrinth which is the fourth book in the series. Hello darling, you want to turn around and let people see your face? No? Um, so I'm going to start this today. This is quite long but as I said today now that work is over I don't have that much i do have some things to do but i don't have that much to do today so hopefully it can be a good reading day i was going to put it on an audiobook and go for a walk and it's been it's dry now but it has been raining all morning so i don't know whether i actually want to go on a walk or not it's 350 pages ish this one so it is one of the longer ones in the series so far so i don't know whether i'm going to go for a walk or not today but i'll let you know if i do and a lot of people uh, the last time i showed clips from my walk on tuesday they were commenting on the vlog saying that they really enjoyed the nice scenery etc um i live in the middle i'm gonna move that out of the way because it's actually getting hot in the fire and i don't want my biscuits to melt the oh look at that jam I love jam and creams. I was saying last night when I was showing my snacks. So I live like right in the middle of the city, but we're very fortunate in Belfast that there is a lot of green spaces and there's the river running through, which we have footpaths all around and there's quite a few parks. And we actually live really close to like three of the best parks. So we're just across the road from one of them. And then the other two are both only like five minute walks from us. So you can walk for five minutes and be either in the meadows down at the river, or you can be in one of the big like woodland parks. And the camera's probably shaking because she has decided that she wants to rub all against the tripod. You okay? Oh no, that's cheeky. So we are very fortunate that we've loads of nice places to walk, even though we live like right back, back in the middle of the city. Probably shouldn't shove that whole biscuit in my mouth, but there you go. So if it stays dry, I may go on a walk after lunch with the audiobook. And today is just head down and try to get as much of this book finished as possible and I will keep you updated. of the labyrinth this was really good i liked this better this time around i remember this being one of my least favorite books when i read the series the first time but i really enjoyed it this time around there was a lot of character development in this book and it wasn't like a lot of penultimate books where it's just setting the scene there was a good amount of action too and the ending was quite emotional there was a few wee twists and turns and as i said a lot of character development and like secrets coming out in this book so that was really really interesting and I really enjoyed it and 
as I said, this was one of the longer ones. I think the last Olympian is slightly longer. Yeah, by like 20 pages or something. But this is like the second longest book in the series. So I was glad to get it done in a day. Although, as I said, today was the day of the week I had the most spare time. But for some reason, that actually made me less motivated to read on the other days every time I had a spare half an hour I was like maybe I can get a chapter in maybe I could get a chapter in and then today I was free for the whole afternoon and I was like I can read later of the whole afternoon I'll do this and this and this first and then I'll do it or I'll watch one YouTube video and then I'll do it so it actually hindered me having more time today but I'm glad I'm keeping up my pace of one book a day my only problem is that I it's not a problem that I only have the last Olympian left to go and then I want to read is it the last hero or the lost hero I think it's the lost hero the first of the heroes of Olympus on my kindle so I have only two books to go and it has to do me Friday Saturday Sunday but if plans go well tomorrow we'll be going up to the caravan which the journey will take most of basically the whole evening and then when we're up there, we do love going on like really long walks and things like that. So maybe there won't be a lot of reading time over the weekend. So two books will be plenty. Most evenings when I go to bed, I've been starting like the next day's book. But I think tonight I won't bother doing that. I think I'll just give myself a bit of a break. I've kept a day ahead of myself and I will take a break tonight and we'll watch some TV or YouTube or something, which I haven't been doing all week because I've been mostly reading in my spare time. So I might take tonight off. It's take tonight off as if it isn't already half, half eight almost. Yeah, half eight. So there's a good bit of the evening left. So I don't think I'll read any more tonight. I think I'll take a break and I'll enjoy something else. And then hopefully maybe tomorrow if I get caught up in, I don't know, maybe play some games or something. And then tomorrow I'll feel like really getting into reading because a lot of the distractions that I had today I was like oh I like haven't played games all week I haven't watched any YouTube all week so I was being drawn to those things but I think if I do them tonight while I'm ahead of myself have a little rest get them out of my system then tomorrow I'll be ready to get back into reading we'll see how much of this we get read tomorrow I doubt it'll be the whole book because basically I'll have to stop reading at let's see five we'll probably leave here at like half five and then between driving dinner getting unpacked all that kind of stuff the whole night will probably be gone so i'll only have a couple hours really in the afternoon to read so we'll see how that pans out and then hopefully over the weekend i'll be able to finish this and read the last hero which i was looking on goodreads there and it's long it's like over 300 pages but it's not over 400 pages i don't think it's about 360 so fingers crossed i'll be able to get those both done and if i can i'll be super happy with myself so that's it for day four i'm gonna say day four uh let me know down below i need to hold this up for my thumbnail because i've been forgetting to take thumbnails um let me know down below how your reading rush is going and yeah thanks for watching and thanks for all the nice comments and stuff over the last couple of days i've really been enjoying vlogging this every day and i hope you're all happy and healthy and hopefully i'll see you in tomorrow's vlog bye